Welcome back. Bob Wilkins here. In this project we will make an inexpensive end of track indicator with an LED warning light which can be added to any length of HO track. The light indicates both as a warning of the termination of the track and also whether the track is electrified. Here are two finished end of track indicators one has the optional bumper added and the other without. We will show you how each of these can be made. These end of track indicators can be used in place of commercially available unlit bumpers which are more expensive, usually come without the lighting feature and are on a fixed length of track. The items needed to complete this project will include the LED. Two options can be used, either a bi-directional lighting red over yellow or a unidirectional red LED that lights only in one direction. Secondly, an LED stem holder is used. Here I use a dual hole DuPont connector holder to secure the LED. A 680 ohm resistor, a black plastic bumper which is optional, and a short piece of track with rail joiners removed from one end. Atlas makes short track pieces that are ideal. You can use any type of HO track or OO scale track pieces, preferably ones with track end ties like the one shown here that neatly fit the LED holder. Here I will be using Atlas one and a half inch track which is available in packs of four pieces. Some tools needed to execute the project include wire cutters, small pliers, a soldering iron with flux and solder. In addition, some additional items may, might include helping hands to hold the track while soldering, some uh, super glue to glue on the bumper, and a 9 volt battery to test the unit. The first step in assembly is to insert the LED of choice into the LED holder as shown here with the long positive wire lead on the right with the holder opening slots facing you. Next snip off the positive lead wire to leave one quarter of an inch of lead wire extending from the base of the holder. Now cut the resistor wire about three eighths of an inch from the body of the resistor. Solder the cut end of the resistor to the cut lead of the LED. Now insert the holder into the middle of the last rail tie gap. It should fit snugly or can be glued into place with CA glue. The positive wire with the resistor will be on the right when looking at the LED holder when upright. But here, looking back from the underside, the resistor will be on the left. Now bend the negative lead out and around the end rail. Bend the resistor forward at the angle, then back towards the opposite rail, so that the resistor body can be seated in the gap between the ties. Bend this wire also around the rail. The track is ready for soldering. Apply a small dob of solder onto these joints to secure the wires to the track. The helping hands can be used here to hold the track for the soldering purpose. Snip off the excess lead wire extending from these joints. Next, test the lighting using the 9 volt battery. Touch the forward end rails to the battery terminals. The positive terminal is shown here touching the rail with the resistor on it and will light red. When the battery is reversed, it will light yellow if the bidirectional LED is used or it will be off if the red LED is used. 
Now adjust the position of the LED stem uh, so it is upright and in the middle of the end of the track. If you wish to add the bumper to the LED stem, simply glue the plastic bumper onto the LED holder using some CA glue. The bumper is now ready to attach to the track. It will light red as the train approaches the terminus and yellow or off when the current is reversed and the train leaves. The lighting occurs when the voltage to the track exceeds 3 volts in DC mode. If you wish to try this project, the kit containing the four items listed except for the track are available with enough items to make four end of track indicators. These are available at the website modeltrainsounds.com under Project 22. You can also purchase ready-made end-of-track indicators with bi-directional red-yellow LEDs already installed. Thanks again for watching. Our next video will show how to modify the end-of-track indicator if using a stop gap to automatically stop the locomotive at the end of the track or you are using our auto reversing system as indicated in project 16. Thanks again and bye for now.